my dear students in this video we will understand iterative post order traversal of binary trees let us consider a tree the binary tree here we consider two stacks stack s1 and stack s2 so here we consider two stacks s1 and s2 push address of root a onto the stack s1 yes here the root is a therefore address of root a is pushed onto the stack s1 so address of node a is pushed onto stack s1 if stack since stack s1 is not empty pop the topmost address to cur meaning whenever stack s1 becomes empty we stop so it is not empty pop the topmost address to cur so pop address of node a assign it to cur yes push cur of info into s2 so cur of info is a that is pushed onto s2 now cur of left not equal to null push cur of left yes cur of left is b so address of node b is pushed onto stack cur of right not equal to null yes cur of right is not not equal to null it is address of node c that is also pushed onto the stack very good again check the stack since stack s1 is not empty pop the topmost address to cur topmost address is address of node c pop it and assign it to cur yes cur will contain the address of node c push cur of info into the stack s2 so c is pushed onto stack s2 again if cur of left not equal to null here c does not have a left child it is equal to null there is no push cur of right not equal to null yes right child of c is null therefore there is no push again check the stack since stack s1 is not empty pop the topmost address to cur so topmost address is address of node b address of node b is popped and there is assigned to cur push cur of info into s2 so b is pushed on to s2 again cur of left not equal to null b is left is null therefore there is no push cur of right not equal to null b is right is null therefore there is no push again check for the stack but now stack has become empty now the stack s1 is empty therefore go on popping from stack s2 and place it in the post order so uh, the top post element is b pop it place it in the post order next top post element is e pop it place it in the post order next top post element is e pop it place it in the post order so this is the post order for the given tree b c a this is the post order for the given binary tree using iteration we have done i think it's quite simple let us consider a little big tree yes a is the root of the tree and these are our two stacks s1 and yes to push address of root a on to stack s1 yes address of root a is pushed on to stack s1 so address of node a is pushed to stack s1 and since stack s1 is not empty yes it is not empty it is containing the address of node a pop the topmost address to cur so pop the address of node a assign it to cur very good push cur of info into s2 so a is pushed on to s2 now cur of left not equal to null yes cur of left is not equal to null it is b therefore address of node b is pushed on to the stack s1 cur of right not equal to null yes cur of right is not equal to null it is address of node c that is pushed on to stack s1 address of node c is also pushed on to stack s1 again check for the stack since stack s1 is not empty it is not empty it is containing the addresses of two nodes pop the topmost address to cur topmost address is address of node c yes pop it assign it to cur cur will contain the address of node c push cur of info into s2 so c is pushed on to the stack s2 again cur of left not equal to null yes cur of left is not equal to null it is the address of node f so address of node s node f is pushed on to stack s1 yes cur of right not equal to null yes cur of right is not equal to null it is the address of node g therefore address of node g is also pushed on to the stack s1 very good now check whether stack s1 is empty since stack s1 is not empty pop the topmost address to cur what is the topmost address now address of node g address of node g is popped and there is assigned to cur so cur will contain the address of node g now push cur of info into s2 therefore g is pushed on to stack s2 again cur of left not equal to null here there is no left child for g it is null therefore there is no push cur of right not equal to null yes there is no right child for g therefore there is no push again check whether stack s1 is empty 
Since stack S1 is not empty, pop the topmost address to curve. What is the topmost address? Address of node F that is popped and assigned to curve. Address of node F is popped and that is assigned to curve. Push curve of info. That is F is pushed on to stack S2. Yes, F is pushed on to stack S2. Again, curve of left not equal to null. Left child of F is null. Therefore, there is no push. Curve of right not equal to null. Right child of F is null, therefore there is no push. Again, check for the stack S1. Since stack S1 is not empty, pop the topmost address to curve. So address of node B is popped and that is assigned to curve. So curve will contain the address of node B. Push curve of info into S2. That is B is pushed on to stack S2. Now, curve of left not equal to null. Yes, curve of left is not equal to null. B's left child is D. Therefore, address of node D is pushed on to stack S1. Curve of right not equal to null. Yes, curve of right also is not equal to null because B has a right child E. Therefore, address of node E is also pushed on to stack S1. Again, check stack S1. Since stack S1 is not empty, pop the topmost address to curve. So, what is the topmost address now? Address of node E that is popped to curve. Pop address of node E. Yes, curve will contain the address of node E. Push curve of info into S2. So E is pushed on to stack S2. Again, curve of left not equal to null. There is no left child for E. It is null. Therefore, there is no push. Curve of right not equal to null. There is no right child for E. Uh, therefore, there is no push. Uh, next, check for stack S1. Stack S1 is not empty. Still, we have address of node D. Therefore, pop the topmost address to curve. Topmost address is address of node D. Pop it and assign to curve. Yes. Curve will contain the address of node D. Push curve of info into S2. Yes, D is pushed on to stack S2. Very good. Now, curve of left not equal to null. There is no left child for D. It is null. Therefore, there is no push. Curve of right not equal to null. There is no right child for D. It is null. Therefore, there is no push. Now, check for stack. Stack has become empty now. Now, the stack S1 is empty. Therefore, Go on popping from stack S2 and place it in the post order. So go on popping from stack S2 and place it in the post order. So this is a post order. Topmost element is D. Pop it. Place it in post order. Now the topmost element is E. Pop it. Place it in the post order. Now the topmost element is B. Pop it. Place it in the post order. Now the topmost element is F. Pop it. Place it in the post order. Now the topmost element in S2 is G. Pop it. And place it in the post order. Now the topmost element in stack S2 is C, pop it, place it in the post order. Now the topmost element in stack S2 is A, pop it and place it in the post order. So the post order for the given tree is D, E, B, F, G, C, A. D, E, B, F, G, C, A. This is the post order using iteration. I think the operation of uh, iteration uh, to find the post order traversal is quite simple. It is not uh, quite difficult. The logic is very simple. Now let us see the algorithm. Algorithm for iterative post order. Yes. If root is equal to null, return. Otherwise, push root into onto stack one, stack one. While stack one is not empty, pop the topmost from stack one to node. Node of info is pushed onto stack two. If there is a left child for node, push node of left onto stack one. If there is a right child for node, push node of right onto stack. That's all. Go on doing it until a stack 1 becomes empty. When stack 1 becomes empty, while stack 2 is not empty, because go on popping from stack 2 and putting it into post, post order. So while stack 2 is not empty, pop the topmost from stack 2 to item, display item. That's all. This while loop will pop all the elements from stack 2 and display in uh, post order. That's all. The algorithm is also quite simple. Now the C code, C function. Okay, uh, stack 1 is 40 and uh, stack 2, okay, top 1, top 2, root is equal to null, return. Otherwise, push root onto stack 1, while stack 1 is not empty, pop the topmost from stack 1 to node. Yes, push node of info onto stack 2, very good. If node of left not equal to null, push node of left onto stack 1. If node of right not equal to null, push node of right onto stack 1. That's all. Go on doing this until stack 1 becomes empty. 
when stack 1 becomes empty come out when stack 2 is not empty go on popping and displaying that's all this will display all the elements that are popped from stack 2 and this is the post order i think the function for iterative post order also is quite simple uh, so to find the post order traversal using iteration i think the operation the algorithm and the function all of them are quite simple and quite straightforward